Okay, so next we'll prove a very important theorem. This is a theorem that we will use repeatedly. So let A and B be two real numbers where A is less than B, then there exists a rational number Q such that A is less than Q, which is less than B. That is, between any two real numbers, there is a rational number. So proof, as A is less than B, we have that B minus A is positive, and so 1 over B minus A is positive. Now, as the set of positive integers is not bounded above, there exists a positive integer in such that 1 over b minus a is less than n. Now, since b minus a is positive, we can multiply through the inequality by b minus a and not change the inequality so that we have 1 is less than b times n minus a times n. And so a times n plus 1 is less than b times n. Now let m be the smallest integer such that a times n is less than m. Now if a times n is itself an integer, then a times n is the integer m minus 1. And if a times n is not an integer, then a times n is greater than m minus 1. Otherwise, the integer m is not the smallest integer such that a times n is less than m. And so we have that a times n is greater than or equal to m minus 1. And hence, a times n plus 1 is greater than or equal to m. That is, a times n is less than m, which is less than or equal to a times n plus 1, which is less than b times n. And so we have that a times n is less than m, which is less than b times n. Now since n is a positive integer, we can divide through the inequality without changing the inequality so that a is less than m over n, which is less than b, where m over n is a rational number. And therefore, for every pair of real numbers a and b, where a is less than b, there exists a rational number q such that a is less than q, which is less than b. Now recall from the previous lecture that we take as the model of the real numbers those numbers which can be represented as points on the Euclidean line. And recall that we identified a point on this line that we'll call alpha, and so this is a real number, a real number whose square is equal to 2, and so we can represent this number as the square root of 2, and recall that we demonstrated that this number is not rational.
So let the set A be the set of all rational numbers that are strictly less than the square root of 2. Then the complement of A and the rationals is the set of all rational numbers that are strictly greater than the square root of 2. Now clearly the union of A with its complement is the entire set of rationals and the intersection of A with its complement is empty and hence the pair consisting of the set A together with its complement is a partition of the set of rationals. Now let x be a point in the set A. Then as the set of rationals is not bounded below, there exists a rational number A such that a is less than x. Now since x and the square root of 2 are real numbers where x is less than the square root of 2, there exists a rational number b such that x is less than b which is less than the square root of 2. And hence the point x is in the open interval from a to b which is a subset of the set a where this interval is a basic open set. Now we chose this point arbitrarily And so for every point in the set A, there exists a basis element such that the point is in this basis element, which is a subset of the set A, and thus the set A is open. Now let X be a point in the complement of A. And since x and the square root of 2 are real numbers where the square root of 2 is less than x, there exists a rational number c such that the square root of 2 is less than c which is less than x and as the set of rationals is not bounded above, there exists a rational number d such that x is less than d. And hence the point x is in the open interval from c to d, which is a subset of the complement of the set A where this interval is a basic open set and again we chose the point arbitrarily and so for every point in the complement of the set A there exists a basis element such that the point is in this basis element which is a subset of the complement of the set A. And thus the complement of the set A is open. And so the pair 
consisting of the set A together with the complement of A is a pair of open sets that partition the space and so this pair is a separation of the space and therefore the space of rationals is not connected and so we say that the space is disconnected okay so notice that the union of the integers with its complement in the rationals is the entire set of rationals and the intersection of the integers with its complement in the rationals is empty and hence the pair consisting of the integers together with its complement is a partition of the set of rationals. Now let x be an integer. Then as the set of integers is unbounded, that is not bounded above and not bounded below, there exist integers a and b such that a is less than x which is less than b and hence the point x is in the open interval from a to b where this interval is a basic open set However, since A and B are two real numbers where A is less than B, there exists a rational number Q such that A is less than Q which is less than B. That is, the uh, open interval from A to B contains a rational number further since every non-empty open set in the space of rationals contains infinitely many points Of the space, the open interval from A to B, which is a non empty open set, contains infinitely many rational numbers. And so there does not exist a basis element that can be contained in the set of integers and hence the only open set that is contained in the set of integers is the empty set and thus the interior of the set of integers is the empty set. So now let x be a point in the complement of the integers and let m be the smallest integer such that x is less than m, then 
since x is not an integer, x is greater than m minus 1. And so m minus 1 is less than x, which is less than m. Now since m minus 1 and x are two real numbers where m minus 1 is less than x, there exists a rational number c such that m minus 1 is less than c which is less than x, and since x and m are two real numbers where x is less than m, there exists a rational number d such that x is less than d, which is less than m, and hence the point is in the open interval from c to d, which is a subset of the complement of the integers where this interval is a basic open set. Again, we chose the point arbitrarily, and so for every point in the complement of the integers, there exists a basis element such that the point is in this basis element, which is a subset of the complement of the integers, and thus the complement of the integers is open and so the set of integers itself is closed and hence the interior of the closure of the integers is the interior of the integers which is the empty set and therefore set of integers is nowhere dense. In the space of rationals. So let's look at a consolidated table uh, of properties for the space of rationals in the order of topology. In the order topology on the uh, rationals, there are zero isolated points. The strongest separation condition satisfied is the T2 or Hausdorff condition. The space is disconnected. And the strongest countability condition satisfied is the second countability condition. Now, uh, every second countable space is also first countable, and every second countable space is also separable. We are now in a position to demonstrate uh, directly that the uh, space of rationals in the order topology is uh, first countable and is also separable.